While shopping online dominates retail, about 90% of consumers, they still purchase their medications in person at pharmacies. Since 2020, though, Amazon has been trying to gain a foothold in this market, even announcing this year it expects same-day delivery services for your meds to be available in up to a dozen U.S. cities. But for the consumer, a major question is how much this will actually affect the overall price of prescription medications. For more, we bring in Dr. Vin Gupta, who is Amazon Pharmacy's chief medical officer, as well as our own Anjali Kemlani. Uh, Dr. Gupta, first and foremost here, a lot of people are just wondering what the delta in the prices that they're paying will be when they're thinking about a same-day delivery type of service versus going in person to some of the pharmacy benefits managers and picking it up the old-fashioned way uh, and the way that many of us have been accustomed to for decades at this point. Well, Brad, first of all, thank you for having me and Anjali, great to see you again. It, it, this is a service that we're launching in a select cities across the country. We'll have 12 by the end of the year. We're really excited about it because uh, we know dense cities like New York City and Los Angeles, the two new cities where we have this capability, if you, if you get that prescription in, if your provider can get that prescription in before, say, 5 o'clock, uh, we're able to get that to your door before the end of the evening, and that matters for acute conditions. And this is something that uh, we're going to be growing again across the country. But that time to treatment is critical, Brad. We talked about this so much during the pandemic. Early triaging, early diagnosis paired with early treatment, we can be at the door. And people are used to Amazon being at the doorstep with their retail needs. Now we're doing it for healthcare, and we're building that trust. Uh, what about the cost of it? To, to Brad's point, are they are patients expected to pay any different? Is insurance covering all this? And are we looking at you know sort of a status quo in that realm, or is it more expensive, even though it's more convenient for patients to use Amazon? No, where where we offer it, uh, it, it it's included in in, in just uh, in the checkout experience. So no additional charge for that sub same day delivery experience. Uh, and that's exactly what people expect uh, from Amazon. And if if this is something where you're in a in Staten Island, in Manhattan, in parts of Brooklyn, Queens, this is something that will be offered to you um, in the checkout experience, and something that again, if you're within that serviceable zip code, will offer it no additional charge. Then tell me, when you're talking about the in-person pickup, I know that just like Amazon's past when bookstores were the target, we're now looking at pharmacies and the in-person pickup part of that equation for pharmacies. And we look at what the, um, you know, the, the push is to mail order and online ordering. That hasn't necessarily picked up uh, to the point of that stat that we shared. But at the same time, Amazon is opening some of those in-person locations. What does that tell you about the market right now and sort of the trust that people have in digital versions of healthcare? Well, I'm, I'm a pulmonologist, Angela, as you know, and, and home delivery of medications to me is an area of incredible growth because it means something meaningful, it's useful, significant to clinical outcomes. We know that 30% of people don't pick up the refills on time, or if ever, because it's an inconvenient experience, especially if you're acutely not feeling well. So home delivery, us being the modern pharmacy, meeting the needs of the modern age, we're doing something. We exist for a reason because the existing legacy pharmacy experience isn't meeting those needs. And so, yes, 10%, to your exact point, let's acknowledge the fact, 10% of prescriptions are through home delivery. 90% are sold through that legacy system where people spend hours every year in line, in aggregate, waiting for their medications to get picked up. We are providing an alternative for patients and for their providers across the country. I'm at the bedside. If I know that my patient who is not feeling well with a COPD exacerbation can get their refills on time or their antibiotics on time that same day in a place like New York City, why wouldn't I want to do that? So I think part of this is just building the awareness that there's a better alternative, home delivery, the modern pharmacy for the modern needs of the patient, and that we need to start moving away from the legacy system that isn't meeting those needs. Is Amazon able to negotiate materially different with drug makers to the extent that your customers, prime members, subscribers or not, would be able to see the delta in what they're paying or, you know, whether they were going to be purchasing that via pickup uh, through one of the PBM competitors or through Amazon? 
Well, Brad, what I'll say is we have created a, a storefront experience that, that might be evocative if, if you've used Amazon.com for your retail needs. Amazon Pharmacy, very different uh, uh, portal experience, sign on experience. We keep health data separate and private from, let's say, if you have a retail uh, profile. Uh, but some there's some similarities in terms of pricing transparency based on how you want to pay. We offer a multiple different ways to pay, either through estimated insurance pricing if you haven't input your insurance, or through through a direct estimate of your copay if your insurance is on file. We have a discount savings program, the Prime Prescription Savings Discount Program, that that is essentially reflecting a cost plus model for a variety of drugs. And then critically, and I think this is the real differentiation here, Brad, for branded medications like insulin products, if there's a manufactured coupon for one of those insulin products that we we have for this uh, on our on our website, uh, that we're as part of our coupons program, we will automatically apply that uh, to the end cost. That is not something I should emphasize this. That is not something that is commonplace across the industry. People have to go hunting for it. Eighty five percent of the time that coupon goes unapplied. So if there is a way to save money on medications, whether it's a branded medication or a generic medication, you will find that at Amazon Pharmacy through a very easily navigable website and for storefront experience. Vin, uh, finally, when you're looking at you know the uh, the entire industry and where it's going, PBMs in particular, uh, you know, have a lot of say in this industry, and there has been a breakup. Some employers are looking at, and uh, California Blue Shield, for example, partnering with you to provide certain uh, certain prescriptions in order to reduce costs. And I think that's the point that patients are looking for: is where can costs come down for them? So how do these partnerships, uh, including the one with with Lilly Direct that was recently announced and likely other pharma companies that are coming in line for direct to consumer, you have that avenue with the Amazon network. How does that translate into a better experience, but also lower cost for patients? Well, well Anjali, you just you said it right there. The, the pilot that we announced that's going to go live in 2025 with Blue Cross or Blue Shield of California. Uh, and some of our uh, some other peer stakeholder groups like Cost Plus uh, and, and a few other stakeholders, we're really excited about the potential of that because exactly to your point, that the journey of the prescription medication is different in that model where it's sourced directly from the manufacturer, where we're able to directly deliver it direct to the patient. And so if there is going to be a markup in price that historically sometimes might be happening in different uh, ways to acquire a prescription, this is potentially offering a different alternative where you may not see that level of markup and the patient's gonna ultimately benefit with a lower cost. So if there's an ability to innovate with traditional stakeholders, and by the way, that pilot includes many traditional stakeholders, we will do that. We've shown a willingness to do that. Lily Direct to me is very interesting because that's Lily saying uh, they can choose any pharmacy to partner with. We're one of two to do home delivery. And, and, and there's a reason why they did that because they recognize uh, by the way, this is not only just limited to, to GLPs and ZepBound, it's also insulin medications and migraine medications. But what's important to them? They're, they're really concerned about proper prescribing of these medications, making sure the patients that they need these medications, Anjali and Brad, get these medications. And so what do we have beyond a home delivery? Rapid uh, delivery in places like uh, Seattle and uh, California and New York City, or uh, Los Angeles rather. We have clinical excellence. We have a team of clinical pharmacists that I work with closely that can answer questions on side effects that are available 24-7, 365. So when you couple that with the ability to have home delivery, you're, we're truly building the modern pharmacy that the future needs, that the patients need right now, but certainly the, the pharmacy of the future. That's why Alili is, is partnering with us. It's bringing responsible prescribing of these critically needed medications to patients that need them the most. Dr. Vin Gupta, who is the Amazon Pharmacy Chief Medical Officer and our own Anjali Kamlani, thanks so much for the time and the conversation.